Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on January 7th, 2023. Welcome to another Survivor Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, and volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking here at the last 48 hours, Solar Dynamics Observatory showing 304 angstroms. Visible is that X-class solar flare as well, a couple minor C-class solar flares, Earth-facing position. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Still pretty big crusting sunspot that released the X-class flare. Other than that, nothing is coming around. Looking at outgoing here, still plasma filaments dancing around the northern hemisphere, which would be the left-hand side there. As well, Earth-facing sunspots releasing C-class solar flares today, visible here. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Large plasma tornado stretching from the surface in the northern hemisphere. As well, two pretty active Earth-facing sunspots to observe here. That solar prominence from that plasma tornado is very large. And it's whipping around now, getting ready to take off or fall back. We'll see what happens here with our next update. Having a look, 193 angstroms. No major coronal holes that have developed. There is one slightly diminished in the northern hemisphere. But other than that, not much to talk about for coronal holes. Solar Cycle 25 has already put on quite a big show for us as we've seen many large M-class and X-class solar flares since the start. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range. As you can see there, two C-class and one M-class solar flare to report. Geomagnetic activity is elevated to two. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 438 kilometers per second. And it was pretty stagnant throughout the day have a quick look here at our magnetosphere diagrams. This is for our pressure around our magnetosphere and around on our planet. And this is a look at our solar winds hitting our planet, creating our shield, but still lots gets through. Iswa space prediction spiral still only showing the outgoing solar blast from the backside of the sun towards Port Parker solar probe. Schumann resonance for today, a power of five and still a blackout, but we're starting to see the telemetry here build over the last few hours. Quality of six, amplitude of five, power of five. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. We're going to start out here with the most recent 4.2 earthquake, Bamboo Flat, India. As well as 4.5 there, Western Indonesia. 4.5 earthquake here, Philippines. 579 kilometer depth very deep for the region noting here to the west 4.8 twal indonesia 4.5 as well as 4.7 papua new guinea 4.6 solomon islands and then we had a 5.3 hahai fo tonga and a very deep 4.6 earthquake 582 kilometer depth south of fiji notable here as well Northern in New Zealand, Takora, New Zealand, 4.1 earthquake, but 190 kilometer depth, pretty deep for the region, expecting some EQs soon. Overlooking Japan, notable there, 4.7, as well as 4.6 there, Severo, Russia, south of Kamchatka, Alaska, pretty quiet, only minor activity to report, and then Hawaii, a couple minor earthquakes today, and here is a look at the lava lake of Kilauea as it has erupted, erupted on the 5th. And this is the imagery here right up until the last few hours of the 7th. Carrying on here, not too much to talk about across the North American plate. Notable earthquake here, Blithville, Arkansas, 2.5, as well as 2.5 there, Point Kilomut, Canada, Quebec, 
and noting here the three four point three four point seven up in Greenland. Four point three earthquake here off the coast of Mexico, Riviera Plate, as well Caribbean Plate seeing some activity increasing today, largest being a three point eight. South America, not too much to report. South Sandwich Islands seeing a 4.9, but giving you a glance at what it's been doing here the last few days. 4.9, ranging right up to 5.3. Notable earthquake here, 5.2 Morocco, right up Northern Africa plate, as well Greece seeing a 4.6. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. That's what this channel is all about. Keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily earthquakes, space weather, world weather, and as well, very important volcanoes. A little bit concerning there with the northern mid-Atlantic activity moving northward towards Greenland. Watch for Iceland to see an eruption soon, possibly. Have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at ERA in Japan, Apopo in Mexico, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Fuego in Guatemala. 200 active hazards here, and many of them are floods. If you are concerned for your region, please download the Pacific Disaster and app, and you can check it out yourself. Having a look here, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, as well as Sabincaya in Peru. Shevelich in Russia. These are all in the last five hours, folks. Merapi, Indonesia, awakened yesterday. As well as Semeru, Indonesia, Cotopaxi, and Ecuador. Having a look here, a very large system there off the coast of Ireland, bringing in waves of moisture as far south as Spain. Pacific doing the same thing, very large low pressure systems. Lower level lows developing into large upper level lows. Central Pacific and as well, West Coast Pacific. Right up into California, Washington and BC. Quick look here around the rest of the world. Heavy cloud cover through South Africa and winter storm conditions through central Russia. Have a look at windy.com showing the windy models here for the Atlantic Ocean. Seven day forecast. Going to be seeing quite a windy event heading up into eastern, east coast of uh, United States and Canada. Watch as this big low comes in by Thursday into Friday. Straight southward winds and very cold on the backside. Interesting systems heading into the United Kingdom as well. Heads up, very windy and wet over the next few days. A glance at the Pacific Ocean as we still have some pretty large systems developing here in this forecast going to be some very windy and wet conditions all across the west coast of the United States. Have a look at windy models, North America, South America, and into Europe. Daily rains heading into the west coast. Pretty dry through the prairies, dry through eastern Canada and the eastern United States, right up until long-range forecast 15th into the 16th. Watching a low develop there. And as well, all along the coastline this week, it's going to be very wet indeed. Snowy conditions up through Quebec and northern Ontario. Overlooking Europe, as you've got a rain train heading into you as well. One, two, three systems affecting you this week. High pressure ridge should blow, should blow right away with all these systems. So... Gray days ahead of you. Overlooking the Pacific and Australia. Cyclone affecting New Zealand. As well, a tropical system here developing 
east of the Philippines. Next Monday into Wednesday, watch for torrential downpours and strong winds with that low. And then it will be ushered into the West Pacific. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.